What's going on, sexy Samuel squad? We got the first look of Cleon, Clone, Cleon, Cleena, Cleena. That's her name, Cleena. The whole DH nonsense is is I I don't know. She's super sick. Let me run over her abilities for you. Give her a give her a once over. Actually, no. I'll edit in. I'll edit in the once over in the um. Wait, why are we on a new map? Why are we on a different map? Is this map coming into rotation? I actually didn't know this map was coming into rotation if it is. So here are her abilities. For one, obviously, it's the scream that everyone knows and loves. For two, it throws this thing. Let me go on quick cast so you guys can see the things actually. Um, her two it throws a projectile that then hits somebody and makes you invisible to them when it hits them, which is pretty insane. Um, also works on enemies or minions, I should say. Um, doesn't make you invisible against minions, by the way. The three is super sick. It is a long range dash that then claws afterwards. And here's the coolest part. She walks through walls, boys. Boom. Oh, you heard it there, dude. You heard it. When you get silenced with the one. The one. It actually completely takes away your, your sound from the game. And here's the coolest part. You can walk into a wall. You take tick damage that scales. And then you can walk right out the wall. Pop right out. And when you go into a wall, which it is on a cooldown. You can see the cooldown right here. Oh, I, I know he's in the wall there because you can hear it. Oh, I missed it. You can hear when they're in the wall. Um, but when you're in the wall, you can actually use your three and your one. And they do different effects while you're in the wall. So it's super cool. I didn't know if we could see each other. No, we can't. <laughs> you're completely untargetable in the game. Period. When you're in the wall. That means Nuwa alt cannot hit you. Neath alt cannot hit you. No amount of tick damage does damage to you while you're in there. You shouldn't be able to. Come back in. Yeah. Okay, you can't see each other. Definitely cannot see each other while you're in the wall. Perfect. How do you figure that out? And her ult. Oh, that's her ult. That's her ult right there. Boom, boom, boom. Come here, dingus. Ooh. There you go. There's the first blood, baby. Dude, the combos are so sick. I was too weak to go into the wall. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you, you actually do die or, or you don't actually die in the wall. Um, it, it puts you down to one HP at the lowest you can possibly go. And once you're at that one HP mark, it kicks you out of the wall. And then, you know, good luck surviving because everyone and their mother is going to see you at one HP popping out of a wall for no reason. Um, Like I said, her one and her three have different abilities while on the wall as well as her ultimate does. And um. I just need to keep going over everything because it's it's crazy. So her alt actually has two charges, right? You can use the one right here, boom, right? And then you see it's on a 38 second cooldown. It's not because it's a 38 second cooldown. It's because you have two separate charges and each charge is a 30 second cooldown. So it's completely awesome. Um, she's a super new character that just straight up has game breaking things it's so cool man it's so cool he's in the wall you can see because of that passive there a banshee is close you can see it when they're in the wall so i'm going to i'm gonna make me myself invisible to him and then I'm gonna cut his path off i'm gonna keep hitting him and there it is dude there it is another kill for the sam duder Am I canceling my dash? Um, is this a cripple? This might be a cripple. I think you might be canceling your dash. 
I think so. So her alt has two different uses, like I've been saying. Her one, um, when you go into a wall and use the one, it actually pops up on the other end of the wall, and it's this terrifying face staring at you um, and just screaming at you. And her three, when you use in the wall, I'll, I'll show you next time I get my cooldown up so I can actually go into the wall. Um, actually has a super long range dash. So if I go in the wall here, you can see I can go all the way to this side and my three, it actually throws me out of the wall all the way over there. So I can dash through the wall and then all the way over here from like basically back here at the, my blue buff, you know? So it's super cool. Honestly, the most unique character that comes to Smite and that does include Giannis. Like being able to go into the wall and just completely break any kind of game design is insane. And here's the last thing she can do while in the wall. You can actually put your ultimate down to cover a path, almost like a mine. He went next to it and procced it, right? And, um, yeah. Now he's going to try to hit me with it. I'm assuming he's going to dash out. Oh, the buildup is a little long. The buildup is a little long on that. I didn't think the buildup would be that long. Oh, he's dead though. He's dead. Oh, the one HP. Nice live. Nice live. That's sick. But yeah, so she is a physical assassin, a melee assassin, obviously. All assassins are melee, but uh, she's a physical assassin. And uh, auto attack chain is 1-1. One, one, and then the last auto is 1.5. So it does 50% extra damage and also comes out 50% slower. But it does chunk when it hits. It does chunk when it hits. She's mainly an ability assassin. You don't ever really want to use those auto attacks when you're close. So why did I build it, Javal? Great question. I don't know. I'm just kind of rolling with the punches right now. Um, her damage is really, really quite good. I'm going to go into the wall here. Oh. Oh, nice. We got the kill, baby. We got the kill. There it is. Thank you, mannequins. And, um... What actually killed him? Oh, archers killed him. Let's go, archers! <laughs> but yeah, you can see it's, it's really, really cool. Her kit is just designed to be terrifying and kind of like a jump scare. Even scarier than Loki. And let me show you guys one more time this, uh this kind of mine that you can set as your ultimate. So basically you walk into a wall as seen here, you use your ultimate and then when they get close, the ultimate then procs or when they, when they walk through the line of fire, the ultimate would then procs and then, um, hold on. I want to fight him. Oh, that was, I want him to dash in on me. Oh, he ran out the other side. Well played, friend. Let's go, dude. And there it is. That's the full extent of what she can do. If you run away from the cleaner, guess what? She's going to come and clean you up because she's going to walk through that wall. And she is going to just demolish you. You can't get away. The only time you get away from Kleena is if she wants you to get away. And if she wants you to get away, well, <laughs> you're in for some tough shit after that. That's all I got to tell you. The red buff is spawning soon. Man, this character is super cool. I'm very, very happy with the design. So I'm going to try to show you the mine aspect. Like, I'm not going to let him proc it immediately. So you can see it right here on the wall. Um, and then you saw he, he walked past it there. And because he walked past it, it did proc. And as you can see with the ultimate, it doesn't always do... Um, oh, God, that's terrifying. The 
Oh, he autoed me. He autoed me. <laughs> he was autoing and I, I ran in the line of fire. Oh, gosh. Nice one. Nice one. But yeah, it's, um, it's super cool. They're like, uh, the way that you can go in the walls, granted, the cooldown on it, I believe, is... Let me see. 16 seconds. You can walk into a wall every 16 seconds. But that 16 seconds is crazy. And, like, look at this, right? Like, if you want to get back to lane, you walk through the wall, you dash, and it shoots you straight out back to your tower. Like, your, your lane presence is super impressive as a physical assassin. You don't have a quote-unquote jump, I guess. You do have a movement ability in the form of the dash, but you are targetable in the dash still, so it's a little weird. I'm gonna walk in here. I'm going to set a trap or two. Cut that path off and then cut this path off. So he knows not to mess with me. Oh, the minions actually proc that. I did not know the minions could proc it as well. Um Damn. Oh, he's at the wall. No, I didn't know. I didn't see he was at the wall. He went really far back in that wall. And uh because he was so far back like all the way back here, I didn't get the notification that he was close to me. So he dashed all the way through the wall and then out of the wall because that's how the dash works is the start of the dash doesn't actually happen until you're out of the wall and he got so close so fast that's super cool i'm gonna walk through here right now see if i can maybe oh, i can't walk through there he is in this wall Nice, very nice. Dude, the fights are so insane. It's like she has the targetable stealth, right? She has the completely immune damage while in the wall. And she has the uh the movement of someone like someone like Sir Ket. Like you just dash out the wall and completely get ready to frag. By the way, uh, it's weird, but her dash actually does, um, it actually does affect minions. Please do not hit me. Dude, the ganks in mid are going to be insane. I went invisible. He doesn't know where I am. Let's go, dude. Let's go. I hit him. I hit him and it gave me invisibility and I actually lived with it. Oh, that's so sick. That's so sick. Oh, I don't want to go in that wall. I see him over there. Yes. Uh, I have one on that wall near blue. You're blue. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Oh, shit. I didn't see that one. <laughs> Maybe I can't see it. Holy crap. Wait. That's actually crazy if you can't see it. Oh, my God. Can you? Oh my God, that's crazy if you can't see it. Oh my geez. Oh my geez. I'm going to go Aaron died because I want to be able to see him while he's stealth. I sense 
Dude, it's so, it's so, it's so cool. Really and obviously, cool. they have a lot of things that you um, are not actually allowed to do because of barriers in the game or whatnot. Just to make the god more fair. Oh, I just I just hit him with that blue buff one. I, I just hit him with that blue buff one. <laughs> he was looking for it, dude. That's so funny. I don't know where he is. Gotta be careful. Just slowly clear and wave. Oh, dude, this character is so good. So good. And you can actually position it almost like this, like your ultimate's here. To safely clear a wave from a very far distance away. Okay, well, that's kind of triggering. Did I miss that? Going Hydras. My ult's about to proc in his ass. He's walking through that wall. Nope. Boom! Hit him with that. He wants to go in this wall, dude. No! No! He killed me, dude. Oh, he altered to clear the wave. That's interesting. That is interesting. You definitely get Phoenix here. Unfortunate, but dude, her damage is so good. His one hit me for 500. His three hit me for 417. His alt hit me for 315. I don't know what her phantasmal is. If I had to guess, it looks like her phantasmal is her, is her passive. Which I guess is me. That's probably my doing, right? I probably did 415 damage to myself. Is what it's saying. By staying in the wall maybe a little too long. Oh, no, you don't. You better get out of there. You better get out of there. Oh. <laughs> we actually so traded. Yeah, he's building much more ability based. I gotta follow suit, dude. I gotta follow suit. You got Hydras. You got Transcendence. I don't have Transcendence. She's so fun to play. Holy crap. She's so fun to play. Uh, I gotta go Hydras too, man. Th this is like, it's too much fun. Yeah. Hmm. Not in the wall. No, you can't see in the wall no matter what. No matter what. I want to trap oh boy here. Actually, I'm going to just double proc it there. The craziest thing is, like, you take so much damage while you're in the wall, right? Which makes it almost not really viable to be in the wall. But at the same time, like, come on. It's so cool. And I have traps set up now. They're about to hit him, probably. Yeah, he's going to dash through the wall. So his Aaron died proc on the wall, which makes me know that I... Which makes me uh, now be aware that there was alts there. So I guess Arendite's not the best to buy on her because it completely gives away her position. Your is under but also whatever.
Um... Oh, he had his one up. GG gamer. She's super fun to play, man. I, uh, I showed you guys the one through the wall. I showed you the three through the wall. I, I pretty much showed you all of her mechanics. It's super cool. Her ult, by the way, does slow if you try to walk through it, just so we're aware. Um, but yeah, I'm going to upload a second video of her in Conquest. It should be a lot of fun. I hope you guys watch that one too. Thank you guys for stopping by my first look. I love you guys as always. And until next time, y'all, peace.